Okay, hello everyone. So this is for the recording. So this is a tutorial is uh, um, to complete yesterday's tutorial on introduction to Kafka. So um, uh, this should be short, uh, short tutorial. Um, yes, but, but before I start, can uh, like one of you summarize for me what Kafka does? and uh, what are we going to be using it for in this challenge? Like, let me hear from you. Just, since there are really few people, just like, let's make sure that everyone understands what, uh, what we're trying to do here. Yes, no. So, um, can, can, let me ask if I got the question right. Like, uh, how are you going to use Kafka in the in this project? Yeah, just like uh, not necessarily only that, but also like what your understanding of Kafka, what is Kafka, and what does it do, and basically what is our goal of using it in this in this uh, challenge. Okay, so my understanding with Kafka is a is a real time uh, messaging service. So uh, when when you have separate services for um, let's say applications, they are isolated and they can communicate directly. So you have Kafka to pass the messages and the data to the services. It ensures that they are scalable and you can add services and not have to uh directly know what is happening on the other on the other service so uh here uh kafka will broadcast uh so the messages that is received from the other application and the other application that are subscribed to the channel or a specific topic they will process the or use the data when when it comes to kafka when it's received so in the project um uh, what i understood that how we can use it is uh, let's say you have a user uh, having passing in parameters on to backtest. So the parameters will be sent to Kafka and then Kafka will broadcast those parameters to whatever services. In this case, we'll, you may have a API to handle those and then uh, it will, it will you know, run the backtest and then the results will be also sent to back to, to Kafka, which will be broadcasted to whichever service will use those results. So it could be the front end or, and again, now we can, uh, and, and the and the database, which will sell the results. So in this case, those services will be, will be, uh, sub, will be, will subscribe to, to the topic on Kafka of, uh, results. Okay, thank you. Thank you for this answer, Henry. Yeah, so yeah, what is exactly like what uh, Hilary said? Um, Kafka is uh, like we went through this yesterday. So, Kafka, yes, it's an instant messaging um, uh, platform. And uh, so, we're going to be using it like if it's for what is called stream processing. And we're going to be using it in this challenge. Um, or in, in the way that Hillary described, to basically handle um, scenes from, from users and also like uh, backtesting results that are all can be stored in Kafka and can be consumed and produced to Kafka. It's like, like uh, um, 
at will and at any time, but at any number of, of producers or consumers. So just to like, okay, let me just share my screen and um, so yeah. So uh, okay, so this is the slides we went through yesterday. So we'll just um, this is this uh, like uh, the definition of Kafka. I can open source distribution stream, uh, event streaming. We define what is an event, uh, and we define what is like uh, event stream streaming. What is meant with it? It's just like um, the real time, um, like um, capturing uh, and like processing the data. Um, and so like and this is like the general architecture of or how the basic architecture of kafka that like you have the brokers that are like these are the servers where like the the data is actually stored and um and you remember that uh, uh, data is stored in the form of events so an event is a key value that uh, basically is an information at a specific time uh, and so it can be a key value format with additional metadata if like um, you can add as much as you want uh, and it's um, events are stored into topics as we saw here let me see here you'll have a topic and this topic can be like divided into partitions um, and then each each like each square here is an event with a particular key we saw that like uh, uh, Kafka guarantees that uh, um, messages are from each partition are read are the same order they were written. So you can have some kind of um, observation of order here. And basically you have producers that write into Kafka, Kafka publish into Kafka, and then you have consumers that subscribe to Kafka topics and like read from it. So this is a basic thing. And then we talked about like um, to use it, basically you need, uh, uh, so we talked about uh, producers and consumers and uh, like uh, the cl clients and we discovered, we were also discussed to some extent the um, Kafka, like this Kafka screen with Kafka connectors and Kafka streams. So we didn't discuss Kafka stream yesterday, but it's like um, basically they are like a, an um, a, a client library or an API to that you can use to input, output, or manipulate um, data into inside Kafka. There was a question, an important question. Like okay, so and yesterday in the demo we saw console. Uh, consumers and um, file like um, we saw two, one example of uh, of consumer and producer uh, clients. Basically, these were like a console, so we just like we were using the terminal. We also saw connectors for files. Connectors are these that the one that uh, basically they like like plugins that they will get you the data from uh, a source into kafka and then uh, a sync connector will take the data out of the to out kafka topics into uh, an external um, source okay so we saw one example of these connectors we saw the file connector uh, so we if you have files you can uh, use a file connector to a file connector uh, to get the data from the file into kafka topics and you can use a file sync connector to sync S I N K sync connector to take the data from topics into another file. Um, so and so there was an important question about that Kafka is written in Java or Scala, and um, basically aside from using like console or file or these simple uh, things, how can you like so this? Kafka streams, the official ones, these are written in Java. So if we are using Python and we are using Python for the most part, how can we use this? And of course, like um, 
there are client library for Python. So this one, Kafka Python is, um, okay, so just I want to see like the, so this one is a library written basically to um, to function like as much as possible as the official Java client and it like works it's a library in python and you can use it there so basically you can write uh producers cons consumers and others uh, to handle kafka and that is kafka right um publish and uh, uh, consume from kafka from python and uh, basically i just wanted to show you this and uh, of course you could like i am sure like some of you already have have looked into this already there are i think um references to this or if you looked around you could find this of course um so it's not something terribly involved but like let, let's um let's look into it again here i'm running uh kafka in uh, docker so uh this how like i'm just i just use the image the official image uh docker image for kafka and i just run a container for kafka there um so it's just a docker container it's not even i'm not using even docker compose i'm just using so here you can see that i'm running this um container which is uh from this image apache kafka 37.0 because i had to pull it before from the internet and then um, after running this, so I already run this. So uh, you can see that like I have this container running there. And I called it Kafka this time uh, compared to yesterday. <laughs> okay. And uh, okay, so as I said yesterday, we can, um, you can uh, like, what I, what I do to like, um, so I'm be I'm going to be using uh, Python in a in a minute. So I, I don't need to actually run many things inside of the container. But this will, to just like check what I'm doing is working. I am going to run Docker ex, uh, execute it and then I'm going to run it in Kafka container. I'm gonna run fin bash. So I'm getting the terminal inside the container. So this is my container. And I'm going to go into the directory where Kafka is. So you can see here, I have like the different, like uh, you can see, these are the different um, scripts for using Kafka. There is a Kafka console consumer and producer, and I have Kafka topics where here. So uh, this is the one I use for creating topics if I want. So uh, I can do that. So I can use, like, for example, I can use pin um, Kafka topics sh and then create. And let's say I have I want topic. I want to call it sample topic. Um, sample topic, and uh, I'm going to be using uh, like. Bootstrap server, which is a uh, server local host. Um, okay, so sorry, the created. Uh, sorry, it's created here. So confirmation. I can see if I want. I can see the list of topics I have by running list. So I already have um, I have already two other sample topics one and two, but this is the one I created just now. And uh, okay, so this is another terminal. Again, I'm inside my container inside this uh, directory, and I'm going to run a console consumer just to see if if i'm going to write like so my topic is empty right now it doesn't have anything inside of it uh so so um okay. 
So this is Capcom Console Consumer. The topic is sample topic, and I'm starting offsetting it from the beginning, which doesn't matter here because I haven't threatened anything yet. And this is my server. And of course, once I run this, I will not get anything. But it, of course, it continues to read until I stop it. So it will be like I will I will write into it just now um, in a minute. So and I will st will start to see new messages appearing here. So with this, uh, let's go to our Python code. So in Python, sorry. So this is this is not necessary part. What I did, of course, is that I created a virtual environment and I just pip install. So, so just pip install Kafka Python. Of course, it's already installed for me here. And basically, here I have a code to create a Kafka producer. Um, can see this from Kafka import Kafka producer. This is just like uh, simple, and the same thing that I was defining for my console producer. Um, like I need a topic name and basically a server. Actually, this is a, this value is the default, so in principle you can just skip this because this is the default value. But like uh, just for emphasis, it's here. I'm defining it here. So this is what defines me defines for me the producer. And I can choose, a, uh, of course, I can write the producer to write into different topics at the same time. Um, so, uh, so if here I'm doing something a little bit. Uh, and so what I'm doing here in this code is that I'm taking some sample CSV file. This one has like uh, five uh, lines. I'm, I'm getting this is actually the meta stock for from y, uh, Yahoo Finance. But I'm taking only five lines. It's not uh, just to like uh, keep it simple. And uh, I'm taking it raw by row, and I'm got and I'm getting like um, so here the producer will send to a particular topic, and I'm dumping the like I'll, uh, so it's a JSON so. And uh, I'm getting like a, I'm going to print the metadata out. So here, let me just change this to some sample topic the one we are using, and we just run this. It's fine. Python three, use that five. And see, I there are like five messages here. I'm uh, like dumping the the topic and the partition. I have only one partition and this is topic name and go. So this is my consumer from before. You can see I got my messages, which has like the information from each line as a JSON. Um, you can see here. So I got the five lines in like almost like it's, it took very short time to get it out. So um, so this is like a console consumer. We can have, uh, we can have like a Python consumer as well. So this is what we'll define in the next one. Okay. So I'm defining my uh, my Python consumer here using um, okay, just. Uh, here I have like a defined more more parameters. So I have the like of course the topic name and the server, what's our server, and this is what I define here. These are optional other stuff. So auto offsets reset earlier. This is what like when you, you remember in my console consumer I used like from beginning to read all the messages like from the start. And uh, because if I run this consumer without this line. I will not get any message because like I'm not writing actively writing to the topic right now. So um right there. Okay, and uh what else? Yes. Okay. Speak. Um and this is something that I want to do to the data that I want to read. So this is just um uh, like um, a function that will, this is a lambda function that will take my JSON um, 
the like the message into like uh, into a JSON. So because I, I like that, that, that I, like I know this is the format that you send the messages in. And so basically what happened here is I'm going to just print the value from the message. And once I stop the consumer, it will not get any error. That's what I'm doing here in this line. So yeah, how to run this is just like this. And I just got like all the messages that were on the topic already. Um, so if like, uh, if for some reason I run my producer again, so like I'm writing more messages. Five, ten, three. Fine. So I'm writing again five messages. So the same, they have the same content as before, but like, um, yeah, I'm just uh, simulating, so writing more, and you can see my consumer already read them. Here now I have 10 messages right here, and it will continue reading until I stop it because I didn't have any, like, I didn't uh, set any uh, um, line to stop it here. I could. It could set some kind of like um, a delay, just like in time, and exit the consumer. You can do that in your in your your in your script so that it runs only for a particular time. Uh, there are other options you can do. You can have to have to check um, the Kafka Python library here for like other stuff you can do. Basically, other options you can set. Um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you. Basically, I could have shown you this yesterday, but it was not enough time. Um, OK, any questions? So everything is clear, super clear. Everything is super. All right. Yes, yeah, so everything is super clear. Um, um, so we can end this uh, tutorial right here. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, like 